I Irish people, it's very confusing for us to watch American actors on, on television going, oh my God, I'm so drunk. <laughs> We're screaming at the screen, no, <laughs> you're not drunk. If you were drunk, you wouldn't be able to remember your lines. <laughs> Getting drunk and having sex with strangers, that's how Irish people meet one another, isn't it? <laughs> drunk and sex with somebody you don't know. <laughs> you should try it, it's fantastic. You do things you never thought you'd do. You put your face places. <laughs> Normally, you wouldn't put your feet. That's all right, I don't mind the smell. <laughs> Very nice to be here in this uh, wonderfully optimistic country. Uh, to an Irish person, though, it seems that your optimism is boring, uh, uh, bordering on a kind of psychomania. <laughs> Everybody in this country wants to be fucking happy. <laughs> really want to be happy. I'm gonna try my best to be happy. I don't care if it drives me fucking insane. <laughs> the whole country over is covered with these teethed freaks. Everywhere you go, have a nice day, have a nice day. Have a nice day. That sounds like a threat to an Irish person. <laughs> I'll have whatever kind of a fucking day I want. You mind your own business. <laughs> Irish people, I think, I think we're a lot more realistic about the randomness of life, the, the, the untold cruelty for no reason. Irish people don't say, have a nice day. We say, good luck. <laughs> I don't know, I, I don't know if, if we're depressed in Ireland, I, but I do know that we like the shade, don't we? We don't mind things being a little bit dark, you know. I went to this religious service in, in, in Houston, in Texas, given by a guy called Joel Osteen. 22,000 people turned up at it, and they were all kind of happy and clapping their hands, and wee hee, wee hee. And then Joel comes out, dressed not like a preacher, but like an accountant or an insurance person. Everything is neat and tidy, and everything is in place, and he's there, have a nice day. Jesus wants you to be happy, that's right. Y'all gotta be happy now for Jesus. It says so here in the book. Y'all gotta be happy for Jesus. Woohoo! In America, he's a superstar. In Ireland, we think he was retarded. <laughs> you have a nice day. That's right, Joel, you have a nice day. Just. Just get on the bus, will you? Get on the bus. <laughs> your helmet has your name on it. That's the lad. <laughs> Perhaps, I don't know. Perhaps we're a little bit dark. Perhaps we're a little bit depressed. I don't know. That's why we go so mad. You know? Maybe. I was, in a, I was in a taxi in Los Angeles. You know? And the taxi driver was saying, you know, you know this time next year, I'm going to be a millionaire. <laughs> I've written a situation comedy. I know there's going to be a bidding war between ABC and CBC and NBC. And <laughs> It's a fantastic, man. I got the script right here. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Woohoo! That's right. This is a milk car. I love milk car. Now maybe somebody else in the back of the taxi would have tried to encourage him. Would have gone fair play to you. I'm going to be a millionaire as well. The two of us will be millionaires. I'll come visit you on your boat. You can come for a trip on my plane. We're both going to be millionaires. But I was in the back of the taxi and. I wanted, to, I wanted to get disinfected from this toxic optimism. <laughs> so I said to him, what if it's shit? <laughs> he told me to get out, he said. 
He said I had a fundamental darkness. We are a country full of lunatics.